add a bit more of a chocolate favor flavor to the base. So I'm gonna find my move it like that. Dark. Bit more brown. A little less gray. Let's see how that looks. May look like crap, I don't know. I haven't tested it yet. That's why I do spot renders. It may look great. I might have just, you know, cured cancer or something. That yeah, looks good. Oh, that's the other one. I wanted to change that one a bit. A bit more into the dark brown. I do. I like it. Alright. So I got her more or less we got the important stuff, the hard stuff, which is uh, face and skin and hair. I'm going to start on her coat. I'm going to do the coat. Let's see. We got lots of materials here. And I think it's probably not as bad as it looks. So I'm actually going to start with just grabbing everything. And we're going to get a base thrown on it. What do I want? I'm trying to decide of what approach I want to use. If I want to use, uh, I think I want to use that. I think I'm going to use manga, the manga style, for it. And it comes out as a light red. I kind of want it more vibrant than that. Do I want to keep it red, or do I want to go a different direction? Let's see. I, I don't know. I haven't decided. Let me ponder. Let's try that red. Very. Right. Should be a dark red. Yeah, that has its charm to it. I don't know. That's a brighter red. But at the same time, it's dingier. Oh, I remember why I made that. I'm like, why did I make that? That looks terrible. Um, yeah, let's make a red. We're going to make a red together. So I'm going to find something, I'm going to find a red that I like, and I'm going to pause the video for copyright reasons. So I have a piece of art that I like, uh, I chopped it off for copyright reasons. Because all we're really going to want is we're just going to grab some colors from this in order to get a decent red. So I'm going to make three new layers. I'm going to grab my uh, 
color select tool and this right here is my light so that's going to be my base okay there's my base and then I want my dark my shade just about right there I'm fill that and then I want to find the fill which is actually a little rough with this because it doesn't look like it has a fill um, at first glance but it's actually this purple right up here save as in my colors so red and that's my specular color so s and then save as red dark how you get your colors together pretty easy so okay. grab all our materials and we're going to do start with my base that I've saved and tweaked and made. So that's our base. There we go. Browse. Go into my textures. So a couple reds here. Red light. Yeah, I like that.
throw a bump on it. So hopefully that gives you uh, some more in-depth detail on how to do uh, how to do a cartoon style, uh, the different ways you can work with it and piece it together. Uh, I hope it helps you out. Leave uh, suggestions for f future tutorials in the comments below. I do read them. I do take your suggestions seriously. I'll answer questions as best as I can. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. This is Caleb with Practical Dad's Advice. Be at peace.